Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use motion tracking effect called tracker in OpenShot by attaching an emoji to it. Firstly, cut your video so that an object you want to track is always visible. Go to the first frame by clicking on your video then pressing Ctrl and left arrow or dragging the playhead with the mouse. Drag the tracker effect onto your video. Click on click to select button to select an object you want to track. Click and drag with left mouse button to draw a selection box around an object. Click select region. Now click process effect button. Play the video to see how well the object has been tracked. Not well enough in my case. So, I'm going to remove the effect and add it again. Don't forget to go to the first frame. I'm going to choose a different tracking algorithm this time. I'm going to choose an emoji to attach to the object. It's also possible to attach titles and other elements you can add to the timeline. As a side note, in OpenShot, you should put the media you want to attach to your video below the video track you want to attach it to. This is contrary to most other video editors out there, where you place the media you want to attach on top of the track you want to attach it to. In case of OpenShot, if you put media you want to attach to your video on top it's not going to move with the tracker, but it's going to be visible, but another copy will move with the tracker, so there will be two media, one is stationary another following the tracker. Now select the main video track which should be on top, click on T button to open tracker effect properties. Locate child clip ID property. Right click on empty field beside it then select the name of the object you want to attach and left click on it. If you see none, you need to right click on and select the object name again till you see it displayed. Now if you want to change the size or position of your attached object you need to do it to the tracker on the main track. So, when you play your video now your chosen object should follow the object in your video. Thanks for watching.